Like actually, oh. I think it's on. <laughs> All right. It says we're on. All right. Woo. <laughs> I, I'll have to edit the title later for now. It says 300 subscribers celebration stream, which I did for like an hour and it like cut off because somebody FaceTimed me. But I guess <laughs> it's like, that's what we're rolling. Yeah. And think that I can see the comments. And I might. I don't know how to turn you up. I might have to because I can't really hear you that well and I have you at full volume. Mm, okay. Am I too far away? Not really. You might just have to speak up a little bit. Okay. I'll, uh. I can kind of shout. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, what should I do? I might just... I could maybe closer, I guess. Tell me if it gets to a point where you can't... As the screen gets a little funky looking. Okay. Is that right there? Oh, that's good right there. Okay. How's your view? Like, you can see the screen pretty well? Yeah, I can see the screen. I, I played enough of this game where I know what's going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, look at that lobster ranking. Yeah, I know. It's uh, Georgia is one heck of a team, man. F them. They, uh, <laughs> they got some exciting. Uh, Kirby Smart has done an excellent job over there. Uh, I'm still shocked about that turnaround, you know. Because uh, Mark Rick was a good coach, oh, but like tippy. he wasn't. You know what I mean? He can never Definitely. win the big games. That's why Georgia fans got sick of him. Yeah, ha exactly. Have and you ever so played this matchup on uh, NCAA football? What? Have you ever played this exact matchup on NCAA football? I don't think so. I don't think I've played this exact. I've played both teams multiple times, but at other teams. Of course, being out west, I usually play with, like, West Coast teams or Big 12 teams. You know what I mean? Instead of the ACC. So, yeah, uh, I see. Looks like they're gonna get yeah. the ball first. Crap. <laughs> well, I'm dead. Just, uh, you just really gotta, you gotta play some zone, man. You gotta play the zone to make sure that you can keep it controlled. Oh, they, they, they deferred. Oh, they deferred? Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, let's see. Um, this, is, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Take one, Marshall. And there's no viewers on right now. When I get to like a few viewers on, I'll probably start. When I get a comment or so, that's when we'll break into to a little conversation. Okay. Oh, two yards right off the bat, but they're negative. Do you still play this yeah. game regularly? What? Do you still play the game regularly? Not as much as I used to. Um, not gonna lie, you know, I used to play it a lot, and I've been kind of taking a break from it. Um, you know, I don't, it's really sucky because Madden has been so awful since Madden 15. Yeah. But, like, that's really the only football game you have, so, um, you know, I've been playing around a little bit with the PC edition. Yeah, but, I can um, see. The, yeah, only thing that's really I'm kept, the only thing that's really kept Madden afloat is when they moved over to the new generation and they got the new graphics. Yeah, I guess so, really, too, and, you know, they Ultimate team has made them so much money. Not fourth down. Yep. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> One pass. Maybe, I got a negative. Out. Yeah, I got a negative two yard rush. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Uh, put the hit stick on him. I did. <laughs> Door detectors doesn't have many big hitters. All right, here we go. Let's see about. Let's see how how many twenty yard plays I give up this drive. Let's see. So, are you excited about Jake Fromm coming to uh, Washington? You said you played him in high school, right? Oh, Jacob Easton. Yeah, man. Um, you know, we're really excited to really uh, have him come back as a you know as a dog. You know, we're. Um, you know, J you know, Jake was great. You know, like, I like Jake. Jake Browning? Yeah, but Jake really, this past year, you know, we'll see. I'm really concerned about our offensive coordinator, Bush Hamden. Um, he really had some questionable play calling, and, you know, the offense didn't play.
live up to its full potential, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So, you know, Easton had an arm, but, you know, he, last time he played a full, he's never played a full season in college, and, um, you know, definitely UW with losing Miles Gaskin, you know, UW's, like, long, you know, leading rusher in the history of UW football. Um, you know, we definitely have Sabat Ahmed, but he's more of a speed rusher, and Crick Peterson really needs a guy that can ground and pound. And, uh, you know, so Jacob Easton might have to take the load off, especially versus the first six weeks of the season. Oh. Uh, that running game getting established. So it makes me a little bit concerned. Yeah, and he always is injury prone at Georgia. That's why he got his place taken by Fromm and the rest is history. And look, I haven't even gotten him to second down until that play right there. <laughs> there you go. Read it out. Celebrate. Um, they're celebrating a second down. <laughs> I, sometimes in this game, man, it's like, oh, an incomplete pass, and then the defense is jumping around like they just got the turnover of the century. It's like, come on. Or they'll be, or you'll see um, you'll see him be like, you know those sound effects when they get a pick, pick or not a, just a pick six, but a pick in general, and you'll be like, Ooh! like, like the. Yeah, I just the whole stadium goes insane. Or you hear like the you hear like the mic'd up player thing. Uh oh, wide open. Where's the defense? Where's the defense? Oh man, rough start. Rough start. I'm on third and ten. Look at this defense. Where was? Where were they? Running a zone, but the safety was like deep in the middle, and so there was no one covering the uh, the sides. Uh. So I think that's what happened, from at least what I could see. So. Um, seven seven up, man. I've actually only been to the stadium once in history. I don't like going to the city at all. <laughs> man, like, see, look, I, I haven't been in, in an SEC stadium, so I don't really have context. I went to Atlanta for the, uh, for the uh, Peach Bowl back in 2016 when Washington got killed by Alabama. That was 24-7. That's not being killed, and I was there. Uh, well, it, Chris Peterson, we could have, in my opinion, we could have won the game, but we were just so conservative with our offensive play calling. We took no risks. You can't beat Alabama without taking a risk or two. That's true. John got shut down. Dante Pettis was really the only one that showed up that day. Um, you know, so yeah, it was rough. Like, there's only so many times you can run the ball in our game. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember, I was, I'm going to be honest, I was cheering for Bama that game because I, I wanted the SEC to win. I support the SEC when they're playing, except for it's like, if it's Tennessee or Georgia. Well, well normally Georgia. If Tennessee's playing somebody I don't really care about, I cheer for them. But I really, yeah. I just, I hate Georgia. So, and the worst thing is my mom's a Georgia fan, so. <laughs> my, my, are you a Georgia fan or are you a Georgia Tech fan? Uh, I prefer Tech. I have friends that are Tech fans. My dad went to Tech for engineering, even though he's not, he doesn't really care for him. My dad's the Florida fan in the family. Oh, first down, suck it, Georgia. <laughs> there you go. What, what, the ball. Nice. We're past outfield. All right, I'm going to run the wide receiver screen. It's going to be a little... Risky, but it could be a big player. It's gonna be broken up. Let's that's see. a risky play, man. That's a risky play in this game. You better get that ball out quick. Oh yeah, it just doesn't work. You can't have the block. You gotta have the block in there. Yeah, Madden. It's pretty cheesy. Yeah, honestly, some of Madden's like the one thing that I do love about this game is how fluid it is. Like you know what you're gonna get on every single run play. With Madden, sometimes it delays, you know, it's glitchy. Yeah. You know, with this, you know what you're going to get, so definitely, yeah. All right. Oh, wrong play. No, 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 no play. Okay, this play will work. Not really what I play wanted, up. but hope I can get five or six here. Oh, right up the seam. Oh, nice. Did you catch it? Yeah, he held on. I still have nobody on. That's the weird thing. I, I have 300 subs, right? But, like, I never get any, like, buddy to show up for my stream. This is a really annoying thing. Yeah, well, we can just start talking about it, man. Like, um, you know, definitely people who watch back. So, um. Alright, so, what, do you want to cover the, um, do you want to cover, like, a recap of last year's Big big Six Bowl, uh, New Year's Six Bowls first? Oh, running the old option. Um, I went to the Rose Bowl, so we can 
start off with that. I went to the uh, Peach Bowl. Ohio State just went in there and just destroyed the crap out of Washington. Yeah. The score did not seem like it, but um, I was there. And, um, yeah, you know, Washington's comeback was a little too late. Touchdown. Um, wasn't there to win the game. Was that a touchdown? Yep. There you go. There you go, making a comeback. Nice. <laughs> Driving. Getting back into it. But, um, yeah, so Ohio State, Urban Meyer's last game going out as a winner. Um, you know, at least for now, you know, of course, um, that USC job, if it opens up, will be very tempting um, for him, at least, you know. But um, on another note, I'm actually really excited. You know, like, the Fox Sports, like, pregame, college game day show that they're going to do this year? Not really. Well, they're, like, doing – so they're, like, trying to compete with game day, and they're going to have Urban Meyer and Reggie Bush on that. And I'm, like, you know, best great offense coach, one of the best running backs of all time. And uh, I think uh, Brady Quinn's on it as well. So Oh, there goes from Oh, man, Jake Fromm. Dude, Jake Fromm has legs, dude. 102 rushing yards wow. in Georgia. And we got a viewer. <laughs> Peach Bowl? Question mark? What? Say it again. Yep, I was there in person. I, I even vlogged it for the channel. I was too, but I was happy. You know, Jim Harbaugh, you know, if we talk about Jim Harbaugh, he's one of the most, like, questionable head coaches I think we've seen in a long time. Coming from a Seattle fan who had to play him twice a year in San Francisco and when he was back at Stanford playing Washington. Yep. You know, it just really, uh, you know, he, he's a good coach, but he has his moments. Like, he just, I don't know, ever since Colin Kaepernick came in, um, you know, for San Francisco, he hasn't really had, like, a super duper winning, you know, type of program. They've been good, but they haven't been, like, fantastic, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, like, for Kaepernick, and for Kaepernick, remember, he was good in his first two or three years. He took him to a Super Bowl, and then everything went all downhill for him. Yeah, you know, I don't blame Kaepernick for that, to be honest. San Francisco, their defense just fell apart in a year. Like, they went from being one of the most elite defenses to not being, you know, maybe top 20 in the NFL because of injuries. And that's when they went 8-8, eight and, eight, and that's when Jim Harbaugh got fired. And then, you know, Colin Kaepernick, he, you know, he's a good quarterback, but he's not a franchise-type guy. So he basically fell apart into the system because he couldn't carry the team. Anyway, um... Yeah, Michigan, Shea Patterson, they basically just got dominated by Florida, which, you know, I'm kind of excited to see Florida back in prime, you know, um, just because, you know, I was so sick of uh, Florida State and having another third team that is a good team to get the game of all this thing. What were you sick of Florida State doing? Oh, you're yeah, talking to a Florida like, fan. You don't want to get me started. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, I, you know, and like I root for Miami in terms of the ACC. Jordan so, Tech you know, for me. Um, yeah, so you know, definitely like um, seeing Florida State uh, basically go down with Jimbo Fisher, and uh, I'm glad that Willie Taggart, the former Oregon coach, basically just got destroyed. Um, in his first season down in Tallahassee. So that was a proud sight to see in terms of, uh, you know, being a, a, a Washington fan. Wait, he was, yeah, uh, were, like, didn't you know he was a Florida State alum, right? What? He was a Florida State alum, right, Taggart? I believe so. I'd have to double check on that. But, yeah, he's definitely uh, ties to the program, ties to that area, you know, um, Still, though, it's just, uh, you know, he wanted to go back to Florida, so go ahead. Um, I don't think anyone at Oregon's really complaining about that as their preseason top 10 team. So, um, yes, you have the Peach Bowl. Um, let's see, who played in the Fiesta? I forget who played in the Fiesta. It was at LSU UCF. That's 
Right. And honestly, UCF, they limped into this game without Mackenzie Milton. You know, definitely LSU, an improved team, and they were coming off a bitter loss. I don't know if you remember the eight-overtime game in College Station. That was their final game of the regular season. Yep, I sure really do remember. Because I remember the only three or two teams they lost to at that point were Florida and Alabama. And then I said, Tech, yeah, Texas A&M really on that list. And Jim Fisher was pretty happy. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, you know, and it's crazy that Texas A&M finished second in the division. But, yeah, so that game, it was probably used to get to all that they could. But when you're talking about a, uh, you know, an SEC team, you know, it just wasn't enough, especially coming off of a rough loss that LSU finishes their season on a good mark. And then you go and you talk about, the, you know, in my opinion, the best game out of the game was that Sugar Bowl. That Sugar Bowl. Oh, yeah. Angel lost 28-14 to a comeback Texas. You know, Jake Fromm, DeAndre Swift, they definitely struggled that day. And Sam Ellinger really took the reins and uh, pulled, pulled it together in a complete upset that no one thought Texas would win. Yep, so hook them that horns. Was, like, one of the great moments. Yeah, you know, that was definitely a, an amazing game. You know, Texas's defense did, you know, control that game, control Jake Fromm, and uh, they were able to pull it out to the win, and now they come into this year as a, you know, a huge favorite to win the Big 12, um, especially with Tyler Murray leaving Oklahoma and uh, Lincoln Riley in his third year with yet another mediocre defense. Um then you go into the playoff games, talking about Oklahoma. Alabama just completely destroys Oklahoma. Not really shocked to see that one. Oklahoma, again, just not good enough to, you know, beat an SEC team in the playoff. And then you have Notre Dame that, again, <laughs> when it comes to the national stage, gets destroyed in front of Clemson and Trevor Lawrence. And everyone watched that national championship match. Alabama just got destroyed by a Clemson team that was eager, that was young, that was feisty, and, uh, you know, I think that Clemson wanted it more. You know, just watching them play in that game, it definitely felt like that Trevor Lawrence, a true freshman quarterback, wanted to move to the country, that he was legit. He had that opportunity, and he took advantage of that, and they won big over Alabama. So, you know, definitely a great overall season last year terms of the New Year's Day. Yeah, and uh, long story short, the reason I've been inactive on my channel, I haven't been talking to many people lately, is because I'm at a boarding school in South Carolina that I'll be graduating from in about June. I'm just home for a visit. But I let my school is about 20 minutes away from Clemson, so I got to see the National Championship Parade and their spring game, which is pretty cool. Oh, and so, I, so, yeah, I've been to Death Valley now. That's another city I can tap onto my list. Yeah, Get there. there you go. Like, um, I think the only concern for Clemson is that defensive line, you know, just rebuilding that defensive line for this next year, you know, but they'll have plenty of games to get experience and reps in that are easy games for them um, over this year, so I don't think that that's going to be a concern. Um, I definitely expect them to return to the playoff again. Um, you know, I don't know if they'll win the national championship, but definitely expect them to be in that conversation 100%. Mm -hmm. Um did you, see, about the did you see the score? Wait, can you see the score? I cannot. What's the score? 14 7? 21 10. Oh, 21 10. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Now, can you see it now that the volume bar is gone? Yeah, I, I can see how it's going. <laughs> yeah, I just put some points on the board there. See if I can get a turnover. Uh oh! Oh! Get that tackle! Get that! There you go! Hold <laughs> it! Hold it! You gotta hold them to three right here. I agree, cause they get the ball back and start the second half. If you don't remember. Yeah, definitely. You know, you can't go down fourteen versus a team like Georgia. They're just too strong. Ex except when you're somebody like Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like the you know, deja vu of the national championship game. Tua comes in and wins yeah. the game for for them. Yeah, it's just like it's basically like quarterback swap, 
for Alabama. That's how you beat Georgia. Just switch your quarterbacks mid-game, and Kirby Smart, I guess, just doesn't prepare to see both quarterbacks for some reason because their defense just completely falls apart. So, you know, um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm pinching my D-line. I got him at third and six. There you go. Get him. Oh, uh, you almost got him too. If you just had your linebackers up a little closer. I I don't really play user on linebacker. I'm better with the line because I'll show you what what happens when I play linebacker. Okay, so there. I I don't know how to play. I never played football in real life, so watch this. I'll be like, you know, <laughs> I like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, honestly, to beat Georgia in this game, I've learned that you basically have to press coverage man and bring blitzes from the nipple. Like, I feel like that that's the only way... Sack! No! I had him sacked and he got it off. Sorry, keep going. So it's going to be 28 to 10 if they score here? Yeah. How much time is left in the quarter? Uh, 642. 642 seconds? Yeah, 6 minute 42 seconds. Touchdown. Whoa. It's rough. Jake Fromm with the second rushing touchdown. He has got two um, passing, two rushing. Man, he is carving you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are the third-ranked team in the country right now in this game, and I'm not ranked. <laughs> well, yeah, honestly, you know, this is probably how it would go in real life, so. Yeah, they, um, they've only ran 21 plays. Yeah, they're just, so, they're just so physical. You know, that was why they... That's why they're able to beat teams like Georgia or like Florida, excuse me. You know, Florida's a great team, but they need to build up their physicality to be true contenders. For the and we get a good offense coming into this year, the first one in many years, now that Dan Mullen's there. But the, yeah. the game that's on the line this year is can we beat Georgia? That's going to be our yeah. season right there. We have the talent for it. Do we just have the, the – all our two biggest promises this year are our offensive line and our secondary because Florida has the most yeah. – uh, secondary and defensive backs drafted to the NFL in the last four years, as out of the whole college football, out of the whole collegiate level. Yeah, well, no. Um, and to kind of relate, UW has a very similar problem every single year. Like we always lose. You know, this year we're losing Taylor Rapp. You know, the starting safety for three years, and you know, it's basically just you know, kind of oh, you know, we always have to basically repair and replace. But you learn after a while. That with defensive backs, as long as you have a good coach, you'll be perfectly fine. With offensive linemen, of course, you're going to have to have someone who's a little bit more physical, and that's a lot of, like, just recruiting. But I think Florida will figure it out. Uh, Felipe Franks, as long as he has enough time to make some solid decisions, I think that you guys will be perfectly fine on offense. And the defense has always been stingy for Florida, even when – you know, the teams have been, like, 4-8. and eight. Our defense has um, always been, like, this kept us in the game. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just, I remember that LSU game, watching it out on primetime, and, you know, the way that you guys can, you know, keep, you know, a guy like Joe Burrow and that offense just basically in check throughout that entire game. So it's definitely, like, you know, uh, you guys definitely have talent. It's just when it comes down to, you know, I is it me, or do you feel like that when games kind of start to, like, get far away, Florida kind of mentally collapses a little bit? Like, yeah. if it becomes a 10 game, like, don't you feel like things just kind of run away from them? Yeah. I'm running the speed option here uh, to see what, just to feel the old times. Oh, Ooh. bitch. Oh, go, 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 go. Corner. Corner. First down. There you go. All right. I'm driving once again. I'm down to the 17. There you go. All right, let's see. I have one touchdown, one field, 100% efficiency in the red zone. All right, take one. Oh. Four and a half minutes to go. In the, I still have no viewers on. I had one for like a portion. For like a... <laughs> so, like I have no... Nobody ever shows up to my streams, and I have like 300 subs. I don't get it. When do you think people will start showing up these days? I got like two people yeah. crossing over to the end zone. Oh, down goes Marshall. Before I can even get the ball off. Or set. Yeah, right, now it's what I've really learned is I've learned that, um, honestly, Instagram is becoming, in terms of, like, sports stuff. Picked um, off, lobbing it into the end zone. Ooh. Interception. 
Marsha with the hit though. There you go. At least getting someone. You know when when games are blowouts and rivalry games, it's about the personal victories, the small things. <laughs> Uh, step one, it is a close game. That's when it matters. Oh, get down on the ground, prom. There you go. There you go. Oh, man. All right, so do you want to talk about uh, how this year is shaping up? Yeah, let's talk about the SEC West first. <laughs> Ooh, SEC West. Let's see. We've got Alabama, Texas A&M, LSU. Auburn. And Auburn has and Auburn has Georgia and Alabama all home this year. This is the year when they're normally pretty good. Third and fifteen oh, for yeah. Georgia. Well, Alabama is going to win the division a hundred percent. I think LSU will still finish second. Texas A&M still, you know, I I believe that Kellen Mond fourth down a lot of in terms of his progressions and stuff like that. So I'm thinking Texas A&M might win seven or eight games, especially with that conference. Um, Old Miss might make some progression. Mississippi State is going to go down a little bit. I say that you really have, um, you know, Alabama, LSU, possibly Auburn in that conversation. And Auburn, Auburn comes to the Swamp on October 5th. Yeah, you know, like, Auburn is one of those teams where it's just a hit or miss. You never know what you're going to get. I just um, go by whatever year they have Georgia and Alabama at home because they have both – it's dumb, because remember when the SEC schedules got messed up four or five years ago? So now they have to yeah. play Alabama and Georgia at home, back-to-back -back games, and then it's the opposite the year later. That's why they're so good one year in the top ten, and the next year they're always like 8-4, and 8-5, and five, so, you know. It's always hit or miss, like yeah, you said. Definitely, like, they definitely have talent. It's just that, you know, taking advantage of it, um, especially with that schedule, like you said, is hard. Um, but I think that they'll figure it out at quarterback, of course, you know. Um, but um, definitely Alabama and LSU are my two favorites in terms of the West. First down. But yeah, I agree. I think that. Uh, how, are you excited for the LSU Texas game week three? I am very excited because I think that Tom Herman and Texas they have a way physical team than people think they are. You know, they everyone likes to make fun of the Big Twelve, saying that they're not physical and they can't play with teams in the SEC and out east. But I think that that will be a game where at least Texas physicality can keep them in that game. I agree, and I I, I can't remember is it is it an initial site or is it in Arlington is it in Texas or Baton Rouge? I can't remember. I believe it's in Arlington. As okay, a, as cool. A, uh, Cause I played that game on NCAA and I put it in Arlington just randomly, and I I guessed right. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, okay, so talk about the East. Let's go to the East. Of course, Georgia is a big favorite here. Yeah. Um, second team, a lot of people pick South Carolina. <laughs> I don't understand why they're in that conversation. Will Muschamp is just overhyped. I've seen him for four years. Every, like, remember that one good year he had with Florida where he took him into the Sugar Bowl against Louisville? Part of the reason is yeah. that was Urban Meyer's pieces that were still on the team. Just like when he was pretty good in the second year with South Carolina, those were all when, his, when Spurrier's last few guys got big and old enough to be able to produce. That's why they were that good. But as soon as you see yeah, him exactly. fall off and he gets his own team, they fall off the map. It's just that simple. I don't know why they always yeah, hype Muschamp up so you know, much. Yeah, Texas too. You think about it. His, you know, his first couple years are like his best, and then he just falls off. So. Um, yeah, but definitely that Georgia-Florida game down in Jacksonville, I think we'll decide that division. I do, too. That's how it always has been over the many years. No matter if the teams are mediocre or good. It's like, it seems like whatever, whoever wins that game takes control of the East and the division. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. That's uh, that's where the big boys come to play. It's fourth so inches on the 10-yard line. Up. What should I do, man? I'm going to run the fullback run. Oh, I, yeah, run it. Run it. Run an option. Quarterback run? Yeah, do a quarterback run. That's the secure way of, uh... Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna QB sneak. Uh, I'm putting the line on aggressive. There you go. You gotta get that First boat. down. There you go. First down. All right, let's get it back to the line, boys. How much time do you got? About 30 seconds. Any now he's in it. Uh, one. Okay. Oh, it gets to the outside. Oh, she's corner, string tackle. Corner, corner. He got she string tackle there. Okay, gotta go. You got one more play before you have to take the field goal. 
Second and goal right now. I probably get two more plays. That's down to the two yard line. Yeah, I just did. I'm gonna go with the inside cross. I'm doing a pass play from the two yard line. I know I have really good success with this play in Madden. Let's see what goes here. Touchdown. Back to set, or 12. Let's see what we can do here. So what do you, what do you what are your thoughts on Florida? You know, I like Florida. You know, we already talked about them a little bit, but like I think that, you know, Felipe Franks was crapped on in the first year and a lot of people don't like him. I personally think that he's a great prototype quarterback. And you can and see Dan what Mullen once he got an offensive back. mastermind like Mullen under him, you see the process he made in just one year. Imagine what he could do in the next two. Yeah, definitely. No, and he has plenty of time to develop. And, you know, I think that he's, honestly, I think that he's going to be a great pro quarterback as well, just by the way that he's played. Definitely under the radar. But, you know, I think that he'll get an opportunity to start with a team in the NFL if he continues to improve. Huh. So I got four seconds to go in the half. I'm doing man up three deep. See what Georgia comes out with. I'm also bringing one of my defensive linemen out there. They're going to throw a Hail Mary. That's why I brought my defensive lineman out there. Yep, they're in the Hail Mary. Over here. Uh, there you go. Halftime. 12 point game. 11. Huh? 11. 11. There you go. I know, but still someone in it, right? Let's yeah. So, third quarter, should we talk about ACC? Who do you like there? Uh, Clemson. It's the one man conference right now. Yeah, I think Clemson, I say Clemson. Boston College will, is going to be good. Clemson will win. Boston College definitely has a potential to be good. But they're in the same I division like, as Clemson, so you know they're not getting in there. Because Clemson's the tough division. But then you have the other division that nobody knows else is going to win. Yeah, no, definitely. I believe, though, that the other side. Pick! Did you see that? I dove to the ground and caught it. Nice, man. You can make it a one-possession game with a field goal. That's a Madu. Well, <laughs> oh, they're reviewing it. No. Oh, man. We'll let's, see. Let's see. Look at this. Fromm throws it off balance. Boop. I think that's good. I think that's your ball, man. But knowing that a video game, they'll probably turn on you no matter what. Let's, let's see. see. Ball's up in the air. It's a fade. Comes down. Yep, you have possession. That's your ball. Yes. Stands. Yep, there you go. Huge turnover here to start the second half. That's what I needed right there. No, it's not no, it's not having a turnover on my own, right? Oh yeah, no, definitely. Like now let's uh just continue to play like that on defense and uh you know you'll That be was able just a lucky pick. He was throwing across his body there. Yeah, well you brought the pressure. You have to bring, you know, different pressures in terms of from just because he's so smart in the way that he can read defenses and do you remember how like easy lsu was able to fool him there with like they would bring they would have like drop four and end up going into like cover six right off like after the snap Ooh, stuffed third and five yeah, but, yeah. and like yeah, that's how easy. lsu was able to fool him so florida tried to do that in the next week and from studying on it and you saw like do did you watch the florida georgia game last year because florida had georgia to so many third downs they would get him the third down almost every series and they would convert. Yeah. yeah, you just couldn't, like, you know, you, they would put them on first and second, but you could just tell that Georgia was more prepared and also was just a little bit too physical for Florida to win. Yeah, and Florida had the lead for a little while there at 14-13, and then went crashing down. Cersei to the outside. <laughs> okay, so I have, so I think Virginia and Miami will definitely, uh, I think Virginia will probably play versus Clemson, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, and I agree. I, I felt, did he feel so bad for Virginia, how they couldn't beat Virginia Tech for the first time since the 90s, and, like, then they blow it in late in the game, like, ah, that must have been a gut-wrencher. Yeah, but you know what? I, you know, they return a lot of talent. I think Virginia's a top 25 team, you know, and Bronco Mendenhall, you know, even when he was at BYU, a team that is very hard to recruit, recruit for because it is a Mormon school, you know, being able to bring in players in a independent with no conference.
Lawrence definitely won some games there, including beating Oklahoma back in 09. Um, so he knows what he's doing. Of course, no one's going to beat Clemson. I would be less than shocked um, if Clemson was 14-0 uh, and 0 this year heading into the Natty. But, mm. um, you know, um, yeah. Um, okay, so Big Ten, you have any thoughts on the Big Ten? I, this should be, shoulda, woulda, coulda, should be Michigan's year with Urban Meyer stepping down. They got a new quarterback coming into town with Justin Fields. This, uh, sacked. Fourth and 25 from the 27. That might be out of my dumb kicker's range, looks like it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do a depth chart thing. Because my kicker is, like, really low power on here, so I always had to bring in my punter. Yeah, and I kind of bring it like. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch my kicker to my but punter. Yeah, it should be Michigan's year, but honestly, this might sound very stupid, but I think that Northwestern probably has a better chance of winning the Big Ten title game than Michigan does. You know, I think Ohio State's still good. I think that they can compete. I think that Penn State, if, you know, if Ohio State does not make those strides and Michigan – you know, continues to fall off like they do. Um, you know, I think that Penn State versus Northwestern is probably your Big Ten title game. Nebraska being that wild card, I still think that Scott Frost needs at least another year to improve some players. Um, you know, Adrian, uh, their quarterback, definitely Martinez, definitely can play ball. But uh, well, the kick is up. That's good. There you go. Good job. Coming back. So is it a nine or eight point game? Eight. Eight point game. Okay, one possession. There you go. Oh, it's boom. Get a stop. At 28 20. So, yeah. But yeah, what were you oh, saying yeah. about Virginia and then you went to Penn State? Yeah, I was just. We switched to the from the uh, ACC to the Big Ten. So I was just saying that I have Penn State versus Northwestern in my title game. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. It's supposed to be here, but like I don't think so. Do you think that I don't really see the Michigan just firing Jim Harbaugh like that though? He won't be fired. He's kind of in that range where it's like he's still good enough winning ten. As long as he wins ten games a year, they'll give him another year, or they'll just let his contract expire. So, um, you know, those are the two options. Or Jim Harbaugh will, will decide to go back to the NFL and coach, you know, professionally or something like that. I just don't want to see, I don't see him wanting to leave because that's his alma mater. That was their hire. That's what they had on him. It's just as long as he can beat Ohio State a year, they'll be happy. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, Michigan, you know, I really want the game to become the rivalry that we always watch again, but it's just year after year ever since 2011, I believe, last time Michigan won. It's just the product that Michigan puts out on the field is honestly embarrassing. And, like, and the years that Michigan should have won, like, when Ohio State was number three in the country one year, Michigan was unranked and they lost on a two-point conversion. And then a few years yeah. later, you remember I, that they lost on a – there was a fourth down conversion that they clearly made and they called it off and that got Harbaugh so pissed. And you remember how, like, they sh those are two games they could have easily won last year. They kind of cut it back, and then they kind of gave up again. So those are two, th there's two or three games that series they could have very easily won, but they didn't. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, um, yeah, so we'll see. I, you know, Michigan, I don't think that they're a playoff team, even if they do make it to the title game. I think Jay Patterson's good, but Michigan's defense loses a couple of key pieces. I also think, too, that their running game isn't as strong as it needs to be, and their wide receivers are, you know. Fourth down. There you go. Are they going to punt? Yeah, the punt. punt. There you go. Getting your way back into it. 322 to go in the third. Oh, they're chipping it. Let's see where it lands. Let's see what the stats they have up. I'm 14 for 18. And the first half, and Jake Fromm was a, and now he's five for six in the second half. Okay, well. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter as long as you're letting him complete underneath. As long as you get the stops, right? Yeah, well, a lot so. of the, well, Jordan has some pretty speedy backs and little speed uh, wide receivers that run those little out routes. So, and they were able to get nine or ten yards per play. Yeah, definitely. 
There you go, first down. Alright, 30 yard line. Well, let's, let's go to Big 12 now. Um, hook em in horns. Terms of do you think do you think the hook em horns have what they need? I think that Oklahoma does not win the division or does not win their championship game. I believe that Texas is back. They've proven it on the national stage now versus an SEC team. I believe that they're in the playoff conversation, and I believe that they win the Big 12 outright. My second, of course, is Oklahoma. This is the risky say, play. Risky play? Yeah, You're I'm on second and 15. I have to run it. Got eight nice yards game. out of it. There you go. Make it more manageable. All right, yeah, keep going with your side. Yeah, so I was saying that uh, Oklahoma will not win the division, but Texas will. And I think my wild card is Iowa State. Matt Campbell has done such a great job turning that program around. And, um, you know, I think that they'll definitely, um, even though they lose a couple of their pieces, uh, you know, the coaching job that he's done will definitely make them win eight-plus eight games next year. Uh, I'm having a punt here. Ew. Well, yeah, at least you, at least your defense is playing well enough where you can put some trust in getting a stop. You know, of course that is rough when you have to pump and you got to make the tackle on the return. Um, <laughs> I, dove, I dove with a random player, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, okay, last but not least, the Pac-12. I believe that Oregon is overrated for many reasons. Um, Justin Herbert isn't as good as people are calling him to be, and Oregon's defense um, put up, you know, has just not really gone up to the hype, in my opinion. You know, I think Washington wins the North with Stanford coming in number two. And then um, in the South, I believe that um, this might sound like a shock, but I believe that USC will win with Utah coming in as a strong second. Yeah, and I've, seen, I've heard that too, because USC is a pretty easy schedule from what I hear. If they can... Oh, wow, look at the center there. The center was able to tackle the other... A, uh, they have a hard first half of the schedule. Yeah, but... but I really like Harrell, the offensive coordinator, the former Texas Tech quarterback um, back in 2008 under Mike Leach, bringing in that air raid offense. And uh, JT Daniels, the quarterback for USC in his second year, a lot of people didn't realize that USC went through four quarterbacks last year. Four. They went through four quarterbacks. Oh, they fought. And fourth I, down. Sorry, I keep interrupting. Oh, wow. I keep it. Sorry. That, that, incomplete? that yeah. looked like a lateral. I think, it was a, I think it was pretty much sideways there, and it called it incomplete. I'll take it, though. I thought it was a fumble, but I thought they were able to get the first down anyway on it, so. Ten yard line looks like. All right, how much time we got? We're a little over a minute to go in the third quarter. Okay, so you can put together a drive here. Yep. That's really what you need. You just need a solid drive. Let's see. Well, yeah. So those are my conference predictions. Anything that you want to talk about? Power. Uh, group of five. Oh, I dropped five? it. Yeah. Is there any group of five conferences you see competing? Um. Will still be very strong. I don't think that they'll make it to a New Year's Six, but you know, I believe that they could win ten plus games. Um, Boise State is always a strong choice. Um, other than that, though, nothing really like you know. Um, Houston. Oh, I. Totally oh my God! Two straight drop passes. You just drop passes. Yeah, two pa two back to back. Now it's third and ten. These Georgia Tech receivers, man, obviously coming from that uh, triple option, uh, have not practiced catching the ball, like, at all. Yeah, I'm running the speed option here on third and ten. Ooh, you got to pitch it, man. Unless he... Oh, yeah, pitch. Got the speed to the corner. Oh, 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 just short. <laughs> oh, boy, should I, I go for it? No, I'm not going for it. Yeah, you got to punt. Yeah, it's a sucky thing. To uh, have to punt in that situation, but oh man! And I'm not gonna get a stop every single drive. They're gonna score sometimes soon. I can tell. Well, hey, you really only need one more stop. That's all you need. 
Well, now they're they're on my they're on there on forty six to start the drive. So that kind of worries me. Yeah, as long as you can get a stop right here, I would say that they're gonna run the ball. Yep. There you go. There you go. So I keep stop. pinching my line. Yeah, I think pinching your line definitely helps. Because your corners, I think, can keep up with these receivers. It's just about this running game and Jake Crom. Yeah, and I, that's why I keep doing the zone kill, zone and blitz weren't working that well, so I switched to full-time man. I could have picked that. Did you catch it? Yeah, I thought I was going to pick that, but it went right over my hands. Oh, jeez. I thought that that was incomplete. All right, first and ten. Here we go. Oh, it blew me all the way for nine uh, yards. Yeah, I just pushing you along like a little kid. End of the third. We got a game here, folks. Oh! <laughs> Alright, we're bringing a blitz here on second and inches. Crashing in. Well, they might go up top with this one. That's why I have a... Oh, uh, looks like they're just running an easy slant! They threw it away. There you go. Okay, third and inches. Whoa, what do you even call here? Do you call a general man? Or do you have to bring another blitz? That's a questionable I'm bringing. Line. I'm bringing under smoke. I'm going with good old under smoke. Okay. I'm going to use one of these linebackers to crash in for the run. Yes! There. Oh, you missed the tackle. Oh, no! No! How the hell? Oh my god, I had him in the backfield too. I called it perfectly, didn't I? He just spun right off of it. You had the right play call. That wasn't your fault. He just couldn't tackle the guy. I know, he just spun it right off of it. As I said, I was like, Arr! see if I can block this extra point here. Nope, not quite. <laughs> if it was the NFL, then maybe, but not with these college ones. Oh, yeah. what do you think about the uh, XFL in 2020? Well, I'm sad the AFL was already demolished because Atlanta had a team for that, and now they, it's gone. Yeah, didn't you guys have Aaron Murray? Yeah, I was going to say that. I'm like, yeah, that's why we didn't really watch the game because Aaron Murray was the quarterback. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I remember the legend, but, like, still, watching Steve Spurrier coach was so cool, man. And they beat, like, they beat the hell out of us week one, so I was like, okay, oh, nice yeah. to see. Orlando had a team. So, I'm running a rollout. Look at this rollout I'm running. Oh, okay. Hit B. There you go. 18. First down. So they're on the same play? Off, whenever they're playing off like that, you gotta throw that in terms of that rollout play. Alright, now I'm running. Should I throw a deep ball here on first and 10? I would throw it to A. That's what I always do. He's called. Oh, no, he's not. Hey, oh, trying to spin the guy just a little too early. Yeah, I always do a little too early or a little too late. Especially on the yeah. college games. On the Madden game, I'm beast mode at spinning off people. I, I was playing one of my friends earlier, in the, or a few days ago, on the Cowboys-Falcons debate. So I was playing Cowboys-Falcons, and I spun the heck out of him. Like, uh, um, I ran in there. But um, for a touchdown, he's like, ooh, that spin was nasty. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the Falcons this year? If they can they stay healthy and they win some of those easy matchup games, I think they can do something. But they're behind the Saints now. It's, now it's the Saints division once more. So, I don't know. Yeah, but the Saints do lose Mark Ingram, and I don't know if Alvin Kamara can carry the load for them. That's true, but the Falcons lost Tevin Coleman, who was our starter all yeah, last year because Devontae Freeman was hurt. But I think Edo's going to be better. Fourth and inches. Come on, that was a first down, coach. I'm having to go for it here. I'm doing another QB uh, rush. Mm -mm, option. QB sneak. Here we go. Six minutes to go in the game. Time is surely ticking. Oh, yeah. You got to score a touchdown here soon, man. Get it. There you go. Nice push. All right, I'm going to hurry up. Oh, you should have probably changed the formation. Now you're running goal line. <laughs> That's true. I just realized that. Oh, well. Can't really audible to anything else. Uh 
Alright. QB slot option. I gotta run a few option plays here and there just to keep the guys happy. Oh, this is a bad look. Yeah, I've got three. Yeah, that's the best you can do on that one. Yeah, if I, would, I was thinking about pitching it back, but I said probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, that's one of those uh, Mark Sanchez butt fumble plays, as I like to call it. <laughs> just gotta just run it up the middle. I see. Oh, oh. <laughs> and you add him to the outside. You add the lane. Third and third and six. What should I do here, coach? I think you gotta throw it. Do that play action that you just passed. The boot yes. over? This? Yeah. That's how I was thinking as well. Get great minds think alike, light, question mark. Hit X. He wasn't open. Oh. Here's the ball game. Are you running deep curl or mesh? Mesh. Okay. Yeah, either hit B or the running back on this one. RB? Yeah. B's open though. Oh, 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 did you get it? I dove for it. There you go, nice. Three for three for fourth yeah, down, come on tech. Four and a half. Georgia Tech takes a while with the ball. They have to put these long drives together. Especially with that Georgia, the triple option. Error. Get set, Marshall. Okay, you don't have to no talk to your mom. You can talk to her after the game. Ball, dude. Just run the ball. There you go. Touchdown. Can we sneak? No, he got it for a touchdown? Yep. Wow, okay. I'm going for two. I'm going for two now. Should I do a QB sneak again? No, I'm on the three yard line. Yeah, you can't do it. I would throw a slant, to be honest. Quick slants? Yeah. Just try to get it out to somebody. Um, Georgia is matching up, though, but just wait until they come underneath. Like, hit. Oh. Oh, got it. Yep. There you go. Nice. All right, seven. Now we need to stop. My mom's asking me to come to bed here in a minute, so I gotta wrap this up. Look, I'm only 30 yards behind him. There you go. Say four minutes almost. That's Dalvin Cook's brother taking the save. Voice crack. Oh boy. I don't want him to take it all the way. <laughs> no, I'm having a backbreaker right there. I'm bringing, I'm bringing a quarter CB Fox Blitz, quarterback Fox Blitz. Alright, here I go. See the guy I have right here? I'm running right for from. Oh, they get a blocker. Uh. There you go. Nice play. Second, they got eight out of it, though. I'm running man. Actually, I'm running a DBI safety blitz on second and two. yards how did that happen I brought the rush I was I was half a second from getting to from that's three times I got a yeah. sack in this game two plays 31 seconds 67 yards well at least get the ball back with some time to get a touchdown and then try it onside yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to throw the ball this drive yeah definitely Probably should have fair catch for or gone for a fair catch there. Or need it. Yeah. I'm gonna do another bootleg if I can find one. There's one. Alright, these are some crosses. Like this play. Yeah. So I'm a hot route X for deep. Yeah, I think that's a good just have that option. Or maybe a post. Oh, I'm too late. B. There you go. Hurry up, hurry up. Hold up, hold up. PAFL play action Florida stretch. Ooh. Mm. Too far. 
I ran out of the pocket there, so that's probably why. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna get like a good chunk of it back here. I'm gonna hit the running back here. Or at least try to. If not, I got two deep options. There he is. There you go. Take on Marshall's a thrower at heart, it looks like. I guess so. You didn't think a Georgia Tech quarterback had an arm until watching this. Man, why well, is a video game, but let's see here. Chucking it up. Ooh! He almost has 300 yards. I think you gotta run four verts, man. Like this? This is close enough, I guess. Yeah, it's close enough. That way, I have somebody short. That way, I have somebody short to dump it off to. No, I checked it. Oh, you almost caught that. Dangerous throw. I just my I tapped it by mistake. I was like, oh boy. Oh, I always hate when that happens. Do slot post. You passed it. This one. No, go back. It's a deep route. How about we're all at smash work? Yeah, let's do roll out smash, hit RB. RB? Oh, I see, okay. I thought you meant. Okay, okay. I thought you were talking B at first. Yeah. Oh, not open. Gotta take off with it. Oh, come on, 40. Block. <sighs> Fourth and one. QB sneak. Run out of time not here. Up. You think fourth and one's gonna work in this situation? Well, I'm on the 32 with two minutes or less than three minutes down two scores. I'm going aggressive blocking. Got it. Oh, got it on the second push. I dove. Oh, I'm in goal line again. Crap. I'm going to do that strong tossing again. But this time I'm flipping, yeah. it, to the, I'm flipping it to the outside. Get set, Marshall. Please, that'd be helpful. There you go. Oh, nope. Maybe not. Oh, I'm going to go on again. Shoot. I'm going to have to use a timeout here. Man, that you needed those timeouts just in case you didn't get that onside. So, don't call the two others. Four verts. Four verts. Let's do it. End zone shot. I'm going to A. That's my number. Look at see. Look A. A's been left open. I'll go RB. Go R. Oh, there he is. A's open. I saw. I saw the little linebacker come over. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. Oh, okay. And I'm like, curls. I always have bad luck with curls. I have, that's why I passed it. I'm gonna speed oh, option okay. here. I got a fast quarterback. I'm just gonna pick up the first down. Stop the clock. Hit an A. There you go. I'm dying for the first down like crazy this game. <laughs> first and goal. It should be halfback draw. How about that? Oh no, they're gonna come for that. I would throw it. Quick pass. Yeah, there you go. A minute and a half ticking. I saw it. Oh. I don't know what that was, Taekwon. I said you're a cor I said you're a thrower. Might have to take that back. <laughs> Five yard pass to the outside. You can't even hit that. Wide open. I might hit B here. Oh yeah, you better make sure he's visible though, enough to get in the end zone. <laughs> oh, dropped it. Come on, man. I have to get at least two yeah. here. Okay, slants, quick slants. Third down conversions, five for 16. Fourth down conversions, I think I'm like four for four. X. Oh, I had it! Oh, All right, this is it, this is the game. Same play? Just RB outs. 
Slip screen? Sure. Is that what you said? I said RB out, but... That's what I thought you meant by slip screen, or that. This is probably a really dumb decision. Let's see how that works. Let's see if I can, like, they're both reviewing it, but it's not going to matter at this point. I know. Man, what a rough loss. Oh, man. At Which... least you came back in the second half, though. Like, you know, you got it in with one possession. That's pretty good for being down, like, 12. Yeah, I was down 28-10. And then I made yeah, it 35-28. Back into it, just things kind of falling apart here at the end. All right, they're down at the four-yard line. I'm going to go for a safety. Yeah, might as well at this point. You got to get anything strip, aggressive strip on everything. What? Oh, my goodness. My guy's like, okay, pass. Have a good day, sir. Do -do. Seven, six. No, I'm not letting this look go like a blow once more. Oh, man. Falling apart at the end. I got 43 seconds. I'm going to score one more time, Chase. I'm calling it here. Oops. Maybe that's not what I needed to do. <laughs> a little too early there. I like that was a six-year-old play on my part right there. Going a little early. Do you hate when people do that? They'll like they'll, they'll be down by a lot and they'll be like, oh, well, I'm gonna stand right here and sack you every play and then decline the penalty. Yeah. So annoying. <laughs> Alright, I'm returning this. It's returnable. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh. Whoa. Okay, decent return. So I can, think I can get a drive for pride here? Yeah, I think so. Just throw it deep, man. Why not? Slot post. There you go. I'm, I'm putting B on a hot route for streak. Why did I throw there? See, look, I don't get why that's not pass interference, though. His back is, like, turned, and he's playing the receiver. I feel like that, that should be called P.I. I agree. <laughs> oh, RB's going to be wide here. Watch. I just saw Got the it. I saw the back come over. So, okay, thank you. I'm running PA ver or four verticals the rest of the game, I guess. Hey, there you go. Why can't I do this the whole game, right? <laughs> might, it might have been a good idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you the option to do it again. Stick. Works. Just throw it up to B. Yeah, I only got 20 seconds. Oh. Did, he... well, did you see that big hit I had? I did see the big hit. And did you hear what the announcement? Did you hear what Brad Nessler just said? No, I did not. I think I can hear the fat lady singing. <laughs> Classic. No, not at this point. Sure, why not? You could be that coach that's like, I'm going to do every single option to try to get my team back, even though it's impossible. Third down eight. Third eight, they're going to take a knee. Oh, maybe not. No, they are. Well... It was fun while it lasted. Well. Good fight, Yellow Jackets, right? Yeah. Well, you got it in there. You got it one possession last two minutes. Or last in the fourth quarter. So, that was something. And I, I, I almost had 500 yards up on them. Here's the, Is this the spin move they had? Nope. This is late in the game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that late in the game. The touchdown to put it away. Yeah, do you remember the uh, play? I had him on third in the inches. 
I remember that I know. spun out. Yeah, and if I, that would have changed the whole possession. momentum because that would have gave me the ball back in a one possession game. Yeah. Should we do this again tomorrow night with like a different matchup? Maybe a matchup you want to see? Um, possibly. I might be busy tomorrow night, but just text me, all right? All right, what time do you think you could do it? Because I'll probably only do it this late tomorrow. Maybe I can do it more in the afternoon for you. Um, no, I could probably do it this time. Um, yeah, probably this time would work. Okay, so I guess that means, like, 8 o'clock your time? Yeah, 8 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock my time, 8 years. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll text you around then. To well, nice talking to you again, Chase. There's the spin move, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> all right, you have a good night. All right, see ya.